Hello all you have points out there and welcome my name is Kimmy on my channel today you join me for a new series Kerbal Space Program Skim goes to space half pints go to space I don't know do you ever wonder what milk looks like in space we're gonna find out because I'm going there <laughs> so this game has just been released into a uh, into full release it was on beta and alpha for quite a while I, I had it for early access so I kind of know what I'm doing here uh, but they have changed quite a few things I'm excited for I hope you guys are too we're gonna start a new game we don't want the player name to be default that's a pretty boring player name we're gonna call the player name half pint station because because we are the half pint station and we're gonna look for a flag that resembles milk and because I don't see anything that looks particularly like milk or a half pint of anything we're gonna we're gonna choose this one which looks like it could be kind of like a milky milky white kind of color so uh, now we have three different modes we have the game mode which is sandbox which gives you unlimited everything you start off with everything and you can just kinda build whatever you want science is all about creating scientific data to research new technologies uh, but you do not get funds or reputation and then career has funds reputation and you manage all aspects of the space program which is what we're gonna do we're gonna choose the difficulty as normal I don't know if I could do medium uh, moderate or hard I probably could uh, at least moderate but uh, we're gonna keep it a little bit easier here just so I can get to see all the cool new stuff that was added a game with the name ready we're gonna overwrite it we're gonna start right here at the very beginning Welcome to the Space Center. Nice to meet you. I'm Gene Kerman, flight director and your guide for this quick introduction. This is the Space Center. From here, you can manage all aspects of the space program. Feel free to have a look around. Okay, so I already actually have taken a look around. Uh, we have like our our air our runway, which is when we have uh, any kind of aeroplanes, any space planes, we can use them there. We have the astronaut complex, which is where all the astronauts live. We have the R&D center, which is where you um, research and development things. And you have the administration buildings, which allow you to make like decisions and different strategic goals. And you also have the uh, over here, I believe, is the tracking center, which which will show you where all of your different spaceships are and stuff like that. Uh, that is the launch pad over there. So mission control is right here. We'll stop in mission control. Uh, we have launch our first, these are some contracts, launch our first vessel, escape the atmosphere, gather scientific scientific data from Kerbin. Okay, and then uh, orbit Kerbin are some of them. So uh, let's see here, active ones. We have a couple pre-made active ones that we already have. And uh, so let's see here. Launch our first vessel. It seems to be lacking for the chief bookkeeper. It seemed lacking. Um, it seemed impossible that we were truly out of ideas, granted. Alright, what is it? We'd like to officially start the, pro the space room with a the, with the bang, a very controlled bang, preferably. So, uh, this is a very easy one. Launch your first vessel this launch pad, or the, the runway to achieve the goal. And uh, so we're going to take this one. We're going to get some funds from it. What else do we have? Got gather scientific data from Kerbin. What is this? Give us a quick crew report before launching. It's fine if any lights on the control panels are flashing. Just give it a, a swift kick. There you go. That sounds that sounds like that's gonna be fun. And escape the atmosphere, which I do not believe we will be able to do on our first go. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the vehicle assembly building. Alright, so this is how this is where we go to assemble our vehicles. Uh, we're gonna start with a space shuttle, spaceship. So we have the command pod that's gonna go on top. Gonna scroll on down to the fuel tanks. Looks like we have no fuel tanks available at this time, so we're gonna have to skip on down to engines. So this has a very, very limited amount of fuel in it. Uh, hopefully, it can get us at least off the ground. Structure, we don't need any uh, girder, girder segments right now, I don't believe. No aerodynamics are available to us, but we should have a parachute. If we don't, we very well probably will lose a Kerbal, and we don't want to do that. We also have the possibility of putting on a mystery goo containment unit, which we can use to create and collect science points. So we're going to do that. Now, to title our spacecraft, we don't want it titled untitled. That's not very fun. And uh, So I'm going to title it the... Uh, little half pint because it is a very very small small shuttle and uh hopefully hopefully it'll bring us back some milk from the outer orbits of this this probably not actually probably not so we have some contracts here i'm not too worried uh, the only thing i have to do is uh go ahead and move this uh the engine down one and keep the parachute up here so the parachute does not come out when the engine turns on uh that would not necessarily be the best thing so uh, why don't we go ahead and get ready then to launch the little half pine? I like the music too. It's a little, little little jazzy right there, but but good all the same. So here we are. We are on the launch pad. As you can see, it it looks like we may have had some unsuccessful launches, or maybe successful launches before. It's not very pretty. It's not very pretty here. Uh, but we wanted to go ahead and launch this, and hopefully be able to get a few different of our contracts done. As we saw up here, we we did take some contracts. I believe that those did count. And uh, also, let's see, uh, we want to achieve a 
Launch your first vessels. Okay. Set an altitude record of 350 uh, meters. And then, a, uh, let's see, set a distance record as well. So, we're going to go ahead and try to do those. I thought we had something that we could, like... I thought we had one that we could uh, go ahead and do a crew report on the ground. I thought that was a contract, too. But either way, uh, we're going to go ahead and keep the data. So we now have some data with us. We took a little bit of an observation, and everything looked fine. So we're going to go ahead and put on SAS, which I don't actually remember what that stands for right now. But what it does do is it stops the spaceship from uh, moving too much uh, upon the start. Uh, you have to unlock in order to actually change its its uh, where its nose is pointing. But that's okay for now. We're also going to hit the space bar or the space key in order to ramp up our thrust a little bit and uh, we're gonna go ahead and take off beautiful it's wonderful we're going well why am I clicking things I don't know okay so we are out already of solid fuel that's fine we're gonna keep going upwards I want you to stop looking at the group at uh, the command pod though please okay we're gonna observe the mystery goo we did obtain a record we're gonna keep the data for the mystery glue because if you transmit it you actually lose some in some cases and uh, currently we are at 5,000, uh, nearly, we're almost at 6,000 meters. But we're slowing down. Currently we are going 25 meters per second. And now not so much. Now not so much. Now we're going to start to fall down at an acceleratingly fast speed. We didn't get very far. So it appears that we, got a, we launched a first vessel and we did set an altitude and a speed record. But we were unable to... Uh, I did. Yep, yep. So we said some things. We got some things. Ooh, we're falling kind of fast. It's kind of, ooh, ooh, going down. All right, so we're going to go ahead and turn off SAS, which is going to flip, as you can see, to allow for the uh, for the air resistance to be least. And as we come and rapidly approach the ground, we're going to go ahead and deploy our parachute. Parachute is going to flip us back around. Sorry for the little bit of a bumpy ride there. Just want to show them the different effects of having air resistance. Of course, when you're falling with a nose shape like this, you're going to want to fall with the least air resistance, which would be nose down. But with the parachute up there, it's going to give the drag we need to right our machine, our little mini space station, the little half pint, uh, as it floats delicately and gently to the ground. So in this game, you get points, you get reputation and money for uh, leaving. Whenever you have a vehicle come back to the ground, if you can recover it, if it's recoverable, you get some of the money back from that, as well as any scientific data that was included with the crew or with the uh, spaceship itself. So uh, you can transmit data from spaceships to the Kerbal Center, which will typically uh, have a reduced amount of value of scientific space points. And you can use the space points then to uh, do some re some research and development, which is really, really important on, on being able to expand your space operations. Eventually, you're going to need uh, better gear in order to get to the furthest reaches of the solar system. So. Here we go, we're gonna we're about 150 meters left before the ground, so it's actually gonna be a little bit longer before we reach, but we can have a nice little view of our nice flat area before we land. And right about it touchdown. Safe and sound on the ground. Here we go. Uh, you can actually take your space your little pilot out and have him walk around like that, but we don't really have to do that right now. It's not really gonna do much for us. So we're gonna go ahead and recover the vessel. So upon recovering the vessel, that ends this particular flight, and we get some science points. We got a total of 24, it looks like, 1.35 science points, and I believe additional ones from, or at least perhaps additional ones from the uh, ex the contracts we took. We got some parts back, some funds back for that, and we also got our crew who increased in his, in his reputation, so beautiful. Well done. Well done indeed. So we got some checkpoints for different contracts that we completed. We are rewards for set a speed record. Very nice. Launch your first vessel. Uh, set a speed record. And uh, I okay, an increasing speed record, an altitude record, as well as gather scientific data from Kerbin, which we got a lot of a lot of funds for that. So very nice indeed. So we now have 140,000 funds, and uh, we're going to be ready to do some research and development. I do believe. So here we go. We can research and develop into this whole entire... See, this is a pretty big tree, and it takes quite a while to get there. We can either choose basic rocket, ro ah, rocketry or engineering 101, because apparently these guys don't know it. So what this stuff will allow us to do, this is going to be a science experiment, data transmitter, and a decoupler. I love decouplers and a different cockpit. Looks like it might be for a space plane. This one right here, though, will give us a fuel booster, a solid fuel booster, and a different engine, as well as fuel tanks. So, hmm... Does this give us, this is just, 
Is this a laboratory? Well, this is going to help us gather more data quickly, or more scientific data quickly. In addition, I love decouplers. Uh, but this right here is going to give us fuel. Fuel tanks and solid boosters. Which is really going to help us. So we were able to unlock that. We have some more science left though. We could go for both. Let's see. Stability. I'm a little less concerned about that. Different uh, fuel tanks and boosters. So we're going to go ahead and go Engineering 101 too. Because I think it's pretty important to get a good basic overview. With more science left, let's go. What's this? A heat shield. Ooh, heat shield could be good. A landing strut. This sounds a little bit intense for us right now. A radical mounted parachute. And a service bay. Heat resistant service bay. Ideal for protecting delicate instruments or stowing small service components such as RC tanks, batteries, etc. That's new. You have to protect the batteries and stuff from, from heat? Oh, goodness. This is going to be a little bit difficult. So stability, aerodynamics. I'm... Oh, a radical decoupler is really good though, actually. Hmm. That's pretty good. Oh, we don't have the science for either one of these yet. It's 20 science, 15 science. We're close to that one, but not quite close enough. All right, but we have some good stuff. We do have some good stuff, so we're going to go back. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and all that great awesome fun stuff. As we go ahead and bring this episode to a close, I'm going to show you the scope of the solar system. That's just our planet right there, Kerbin. A couple moons around us. And we're not the only planet out there. So uh, this is quite the game, it has quite the scope, we can go to any one of these planets and some of their moons as well, land there, have different science experiments, stuff like that, it's going to be a fun time, so I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you did, and please come and join me again to check out the next one, peace out.